pearl is here. Ready to go walk. Ready to go do it in. Yeah, what are we, expedition or tourist? Reverse, but that's okay. Salvuti, hello, Nikolai. Hello, hello, Privet, Nikolai. Hi, Kagala. Um, we wanted to talk to you again about the route. Oh, okay. From um, we brought a small map, mm -hmm. and we want to talk about our route to get confirmation from ULN up to Inchon, Inchon, uh, Enomino, and then across, and then down to Egvikinot, mm -hmm. and Egvikinot, and Adir, and then and Adir, Markova, Markova, Omolon, Omolon, Omsukchan. Mm -hmm. So we need to ask you details. Okay. Show us. Yeah. You want to start from here, yeah. Uh -huh. From where then you go to and to Nieschkan. Nieschkan. Along the coastline, you go to the Tepelman. And from here you go to Vastochny. You go always to Welkow. We hope to cross yeah. across yeah. if the ice is still yeah. thick. Yeah. yeah. It's still be frozen. Yeah. You go into this valley. Oh, use all this valley, follow this river, and go to Google Copy and mm -hmm. cross to another. Okay. Cross. And then take the V0 up to Ellen. And then start. But so all our warm equipment is there now. We, our no clothes, our sleeping bag, big equipment for the winter. Yeah. How about safety things? Yeah, we have, uh, well, we're waiting. We're waiting for permission for our equipment for uh, Sputnik telephone and uh, GPS and also for our beacon. So we're waiting for this equipment. Mm. Oh, still, have yeah, ice. we hope so. Yeah. Enough for us to make it across the bay with a little bit of swimming, perhaps. We, we, we have our dry suits, so no. we think we may have to swim a little bit. If we, if have, to we swim, have to swim, if we'll it's not our choice, but we have something. And they start in Wellen and uh, follow the coastline, all coast villages, uh, Inchon, Enormina, Neshkan, Notepilmen. From Notepilmen, they go down south to mining village uh, Lastochny and using the uh, winter road all the way down to Egwikinot. From Agukinot, they go on to Welkal and to from Welkal to Ugulne Kopi and Anadir. You know, it's uh, our country. It's uh, very difficult. You know, it's uh, very cold and uh, open country and uh, always wind. Uh, very cold wind. And also, it's uh, springtime. The polar, bear, uh, polar bears uh, they uh, mi migrate from south to Warangal Island, and they can meet them on a on a trail. Mm -hmm. um, satellite phone, and uh, we was meet with uh, uh, emergency department here in Chukotka and. Uh, they they know uh, the road, which, which how they go, and uh, every second day they be inform me and uh, emergency department uh, uh, about location where, and we we be uh, control them and know where they are, what's going on on the trail. In, uh, springtime. It's 
very strong uh, snowstorms, you know, but uh, they not very long, but very strong, two, three days. Um, also, uh, I was already talk about the polar bears and uh, many, many, many wolves, wolf country. It's very wild country and uh, uh, very difficult country. My name is Nikolai Etnia. Главный специалист отдела физической культуры и спорта. Ага. И, э, сейчас закончу. Вот так вот. А с, с МЧС мы связывались, то есть мы встретились с, просто... по интернету, вот просто по, познакомились. Ага. Они обратились, они, во-первых, э, ну, конечно, узнавали, кто может их э, помочь. Три года назад я сопровождал Майка Хорна. Mm. Это... Hey, it's me, it's Carl. How's it going? No, we're good. Everything's sweet. Um, I expect we'll be on the ground pretty shortly. Yep. No, it's all going pretty well. We get we get a lot of a lot of help from from all the right people. Um, everybody's been very friendly, so it's going it's going very well. Long time in waiting, I know. Sure thing. Absolutely. No, no, no. It's been incredible. No, we're getting we're getting everything that we need. Yep. Alrighty. I will call you again when I, as soon as as soon as I know what's happening. Yeah. Emails. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you a bell later. As soon as I know. Alright. Bye. Bye. Okay. Um well we're back after a year long wait. Um, we've been on communicating with the authorities and making sure everything's good for us to re-enter Russia and pick up from where we left off last year. And we landed, as you know, uh, at the end of March, first uh, of April, on the coast just north of Oelin. So we're going back now to Oelin. Um, from Oelin, we're going to walk all the way back to um, Ignivignot. Ig 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 and then from Igvikinot all the way down to back to Anadir. From Anadir, um, we're going to head out to Markova, from Markova to um, Omelong. And then from Omelong, we're on the, we're on the roads, and me and Dimitri will go no, several no, no. ways. Omsukshan. From Omchikchan. It's uh, the last frontier, it feels like. It's a different part of the world to be able to get through in Russia. It's, uh, it's, there are challenges, administratively speaking, to be able to come in. But we also know that people here have been, people who live here are also very welcoming and be very friendly with us, very helpful. From last year when we experienced that and this year as well, people want to do, want to take us to do activities and go fishing, go to the banya, whatever. So it's very, very friendly. We have a lot of friends here and almost uh, too many friends because we need to plan, spend time preparing ourselves for our expedition. So it's, it's a very, it's a great place to, to visit and great people to, to meet. But it is, there are challenges. And, and, it's, it is hard, uh, a challenge because it's a harsh climate, so people who come here are more open towards other people and helping other people. Okay, we're just waiting now for the last few pieces of the puzzle. Uh, there are some problems with some of the equipment that we brought into the country, and we need to get clarification that we can carry and use and operate satellite phones, and GPS, etc. Um, I believe that will be sorted out this week and we'll be good to go. So at the end of this week, we should be on the ground and on the move. <laughs> In my case, it might be a little bit different. Um, it's, uh, it's a challenge because this is a long period. It's going to be five months by ourselves walking, so it's a long time away from anybody uh, that we know. Uh, back home, uh, but it's uh, uh, on the other side. They understand it, and uh, we we can only have girlfriends that understand what we do. So they understand, they live with it, and they they 
they understand that we want to live our dreams too. So yeah. Lucky guy. Um, first of all, uh, one of the, we need to travel here in the winter. There's no roads, there's only winter roads, there's no road in the springtime, it's like in some part of Alaska. So we need to be able to travel in the winter because there are many swamps, so we need to be able to t go across water a lot easier. It's colder climate, but we both used to cold climate and we'll be able to deal with it. We have the equipment and uh, the design, I mean, the, we, we, we can do it. We can do it. The issue now is uh, because we started so late, we were supposed to start in, in January, but we had issues administratively to clear, uh, it's going to be very different. So now we plan to be, we're going to be pulling sled with about 120 kilo each of uh, weight on it, with food, fuel, and we use dehydrated food and our gear, and we plan to arrive in Anadir around late May which would not, allow, after this, from Anadir to Markova, Markova, Molon, Songchon, we're gonna have to carry a backpack, big backpack with 30 days, in some cases, 27 days of work for food. So it's gonna be a lot of, that's gonna be the hardest, the, hard, the most difficult part, I think. I might say something different in five days, in, uh, in 10 days. But so from, uh, from um, uh, ULN to Enormino, we're gonna be along the coast, try to go a bit inland to follow the valley beds, uh, and then from uh, Normino, we're going to go inland, catch the Zimnik. So we're going to try to use as many Zimnik as we can to go down to Vekinot. Then we're going to cross the bays. If we, are, if we still have a good amount of ice, we'll cross the bays to go down and then straight to Anadia in the, in the, inside the valley. Uh, I think it's Olkan south of uh, Vekinot and then down to Anadia. And then from Anadia on the way to, uh, to Markova, we, it will be springtime. We, we're actually meeting with people that have known that route and see what we can do in June on that route, because there's a lot of water there, a lot of swamps. After that, our plan is to be upper ground in the mountains to avoid too much water. So between uh, Omolon, uh, Markova, Omolon, and Omsukshan, we'll be in the mountains, so it'll be a lot easier. It will be, we'll lose a lot of weight. It's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, it's do we think it's doable. Um, I mean the whole journey itself, the whole 12 year journey, because I told my friends I could and they said I couldn't, well I'm going to show them that I can, that's it. I'm um, going around the world, the human powered, and uh, for reasons that I don't necessarily want to explain here, but why Shukotka, because for me, for us, we were able to make it across the Bering Strait, and to me, it's easier to go across Shikoka and Russia than to row across the Atlantic, uh, the Pacific. I have a friend who is rowing across the Pacific, and he plans eight months, and that's a very long time alone in a small boat. So this is the easiest way to be able to go around the world, easiest, quote unquote. We're not too fussed about the bears. I mean, we, we, we had this issue when we were crossing the Bering Straits, and a lot of people were constantly concerned about are constantly, you know, telling us about the problems with the bears and all the horror stories of the bears eating people and attacking and jumping on you from behind pieces of ice. It's something that we've we've paid attention to. Uh, unfortunately, we're not allowed to carry firearms here, and the um, border guards have confiscated all our flares and our flare guns, which was our really own only our really our only real means of openly defending ourselves against the bears. Um, but I, I'm not too over concerned. We just we just need to be aware of the of the problem and uh, we'll deal with it best we can. We we are also um, picking up tips uh, from from uh, locals like Chuck Shees who told us because we don't have that much equipment to be able to fight it. So they teach us things with trying to pretend to be a walrus with a spare. So we're trying to get all the information we can from, for example, our support Nikolai Etine has been helpful teaching us a few things that we need to, because the polar bears on the coast might be more hungry than the one we saw on the Bering Strait, because they, they are used to deal with villages and to be more aggressive than on, on the Bering Strait. So it's a little bit different. Okay, uh, say uh, your name. Dimitri Kiefer. Carl Bushby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.